Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. Today we're going to be talking about our two favorite terms, no-code and low-code. At X-Ray Tech, we use no and low-code systems to help build automations for humans. That means using tools like Zapier, Parabola, Integramat, and a whole bunch of other ones to help facilitate this process. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about exactly what no-code and low-code automations are and how hiring an expert like X-Ray Tech can help you get the most out of your automations. So if you've played with any of these no-code tools before, you know that it's really fun and easy to start building with no-code systems. But the difference between no-code and low-code is quite extensive. So in a no-code system, you're pretty much at the whim of Zapier, Integramat, Parabola, or any of these other tools that have a no-code uh, basis. Now, no-code means that you don't need to know what an API is. But an API is an application programming interface. It is the way that applications talk to each other. So what Zapier and Integramat and Parabola and all these systems are doing is putting an interface on top of the API. So all of those integrations that all of those no-code systems have is just putting a UI on top of the API. But if you actually understand what an API is and you know how to communicate and ask questions and get data from an API, then you're moving into low-code land. You see, all applications that have an API are accessible by someone who understands how to code a little bit. And that doesn't need to be much. It just needs to be things like JSON or uh, regex, right? That th if you're familiar with those terms, then you're probably qualified to be a low coder. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Like that's really for the people who understand these technical languages that can be used and leveraged in a low code environment. So if you want to unlock the potential of low code, but you don't want to waste your time figuring out all the technical documentation, hiring an expert is definitely the way to go. So let's pretend you have built some no-code automations before. You might have three, four, five, 15 zaps in your Zapier account right now, and you can keep track of all of your zaps. But when you're starting to expand the footprint a little bit, maybe outside of your direct influence, maybe on your team, the automations are built for your team, or maybe the automations are built for your whole company, uh, it's gonna be really important that multiple people understand what is going on inside of those automations and can make updates if they actually need to make updates. When you're thinking about uh, expanding your automated infrastructure beyond you into the realm of the entire company or, or your team, hiring an expert is going to allow you to have things like an activity log. And an activity log maps the automations that are running to the processes that you need to accomplish as an organization. It's a small step, but it's a huge difference when you start to understand all of the things that can be happening in an automatic way. You need visibility on that. Um, one really simple example is just posting an automation announcement into Slack. Just say, hey, this automation ran uh, and these people should know about it. Right? An, an expert is going to be able to synthesize who needs to know what information, when, and be able to route the communication about the status of those automations to everyone who needs to know. Additionally, documentation is going to be key. So not only documenting the technical aspects of saying this is what is going on in this specific low-code step inside of your automation, but also this is who this automation is helping. This is the department. This is the team member. And this is what success looks like when this automation is executed correctly. By working with an automation expert, they can ensure that all of your automations are triggering properly, they are executing properly, and that everyone understands what is going on. In a perfect world, once you set up your software, it would never break. But unfortunately, no code and low code are still code and this is still software development, so there are still bugs. You see, all of these different software systems are communicating with each other. People working at those different software companies are updating the software all of the time. So when a bug comes up and some new data comes in or some different data comes in that maybe you didn't plan for, it's gonna fail your automation. It's gonna crash it. It's gonna make it not work. 
it can be very time consuming to debug a change that happened in one application or your automation or another application. So if you're stuck and you just need someone to point you in the right direction, feel free to reach out. We're always happy to help. And if you decide to work with an expert like X-Ray Tech, we would go and find and fix the bug so that you never need to worry about it. So to wrap this up, no code and low code are still code. And regardless of their name, they are still rooted in software development. So I encourage you to sign up for Zapier or Integramat and try some of these things on your own. But if you really want to start to roll out an automated infrastructure for your team, it is gonna be the best decision to hire an expert like X-Ray Tech to help you do that. So reach out to X-Ray Tech if you'd like to learn more so we can help you get the most out of your automations. As always, links and resources are in the description down below. And don't forget, keep the flow.